Uh, my name is Greg Spencer, director of Jenna. Um, Jenna is a film about, uh, well, it's a psychological drama, really. So, um, it's about uh, the friendship between two girls, uh, and also uh, the relationship uh, between uh, those two girls, um, but also um, a character called Matt, uh, a character called Sam, a character called Jenna, obviously, and uh, there's one more character in the film as well. So, it's a short film, uh, very dark, uh, inspired by David Lynch, uh, inspired by. Uh, Quite quite a few different um, ideas, really. Especially a film called Mulholland Drive. Uh, it's all about like identity and um, loss of identity and um, the relationship between two uh, women, the relationship between uh, a man and his girlfriend. Um, Olivia, next to me, she plays Jenna. Uh, so you talk a little bit now about this. Uh, yes, yeah, so I play Jenna, and it, it's a role that is it's quite she's quite schizophrenic. And there's a definite switch in the film, which you do see, and there is a twist that we're not going to ruin for you because you might see it. But um, yeah, so it's it's great playing a character that um, has has a different sides to it, and um, it's a very wholesome character. You get there's a lot to get your teeth stuck into, uh, and I had so much free range as well with Greg directing, which was so nice. And working with leads indie films is always a chance to put your own spin on things and have that voice, which is really nice. Um, which you don't get in a lot of other film sets. It's very, this is how we're gonna do it. But it, yeah, it's really, there's a lot of freedom and a lot of the creative people on set, which which made it such a creative process as yeah, well. Yeah, I feel like- Under Greg's writing, which is really good as well. And the group just all contributed, yeah. you know, there was no there was no kind of like hierarchy or anything like that. It was, it, you know, we were kind of all in this together. Yeah. And I feel like Leeds Indie Filmmakers is just such a great group because you feel so welcome. Yeah. So it's my kind of debut feature. But it's your baby as well. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's a and everyone looked after it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, that's really nice that you kind of go on to a set and people make you feel comfortable yeah. and it's a really kind of like creative yeah. environment. Yeah and we all had such process. a laugh as well and yeah. I'm not normally don't look, normally look like this and um, this is makeup. Only on Sundays. <laughs> Only on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's been really nice uh, creative process and it's nice to do something where like for from an actor's point of view I can really get my teeth stuck into the role so it's really nice to do that. The thing that I'm uh, hoping to get from it is uh, some maybe enter into some festivals, um, kind of, uh, you know, hopefully people like the film uh, once it's been edited and stuff. Um, but in terms of my career, I'd like to direct more. I'd like to be involved in more projects with leads indie filmmakers because I feel like the, the collaborative um, environment um, is just really, really positive. And, you know, the, the, the vibe on set was really positive. Everyone's smiling, everyone's there to work um, and everyone helps each other. You know, um, I, I was, quite nervous to, to begin with because it's um, it's an environment that I've not actually sort of uh, had experience in um, but to actually get there and you know John the assistant director and Bob the director of photography they've made me just feel ul uh, ultra comfortable straight away uh, and I'm sure any other director you know if they had those two guys working with them they'd feel exactly the same so in terms of my career um, I'd love to make more and more films um, you know, I, I enjoy the process of writing something and then uh, seeing it kind of come off the page. And um, Amy and Olivia and Daniel uh, and Jeff as well, um, they've all brought these characters to life and it's, there's something really magical about that. Um, and yeah, so I'd just like to carry on doing this, this kind of thing really and as many as I can get my hands on, you know, it'd be great. Yeah, so it was uh, really interested playing, um, well, it's a she's a domestic violence victim and it is... It is always hard to play a role like that because you have to be, it is a very sensitive subject and you do have to be very careful. Um, but I just wanted to bring as much respect to the role as I possibly could as well. Um, you know, because I do know people that have been victims. So to me, it's quite close to home as well. Um, so as an actress, it's always, it's always nice to have these roles which are gritty and real to get your teeth into but you also do have to be very sensitive you know um around the topic i've uh, i've never I, I do more comedy myself like i'm more of a comedy actress so it's really nice to have the opportunity um you know from greg and to do this to do such a different role for myself as an actress um 
and again I do stage and t and TV and film as well so it's it's just having that diverse range of being able to dip, dip in and do loads of different things and, and when I found Leeds Indie Films and then did Joyce's story with them previously as well um, again it was something new and different and um, it, yeah it's lovely to have different characters to sink your teeth into um, for me uh, I just want to carry on doing you know films especially with leading to films as well it's a lovely environment to be in um but yeah i just um i do anything that is thrown to me and uh, and love having a challenge so this for me has been it's been a nice challenge uh, to do so yeah i love the fact that it's not a stuffy film set you know because i've been on film sets that have been you know of a really large scale production i did a film recently that's coming out at Christmas and I was on that set and it was a big budget film um, uh, that will be in cinemas. And uh, But this one, it's nice to do something that is so low key and you do have to chip in and everyone helps bring in lights, bring in props, you know. Um, but that's nice because you, you have more involvement and I think that in order to be an actress as well or an actor, I think it's important to learn about all the different aspects of, of filming. So, you know, if someone's there setting up a camera, why not go and watch them do that? Because, you know, you, you're you behind the camera, yes, but, you know, it's, it's good to learn about all the different aspects of filming.